we're back. We made an oopsie. We forgot yeah. like five more things. One more, One more thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Jackie Chan had one of the best cartoons of the early 2000s. Yeah. Jackie Chan Adventures, me and John are big fans. So if you hear <laughs> some a uh, uh, little bit of 90s, 2000s TV references from us, uh, it'll happen. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't think back. <laughs> but let's get into this, all right? So first off, the Everblades on the 26th had their last day to qualify offers for players, meaning that they did, the players who already signed contracts by July 23rd did not need receive, to receive qualifying offers. Right. That means long story short to make it simple for everyone, the qualifying offers will remain open until acceptance until August 9th. So we have till August 9th to see who signed. In yep. that list for the Everblades is Cam Johnson, Cole McDonald, Stefan LeBlanc, Cameron Hebig, who's not signing, uh, Miles Powell, Hugo Waugh, uh, Kyle Newbar, and Michael McCarron, who's also not signing. He's going overseas. But in the other note of that, any of those players that have been slammed, they do retain the rights to them. So that if they do get signed to an AHL deal and set down, that the, the Everblades would be where they go. Right. So let's, that's one thing we forgot. Number two, the Predators have agreed to terms with Leave Copper for the season of the 2021-22 season. He is entering his third season with the Everblades, where last year in 2021-22, he tallied 14 goals, 18 assists, and 36 games. Help. The, the Blades reached the playoffs where he recorded a hat trick in the for them in the Cali Cup playoffs. Since he did not during the did not play during the 2017 Cali Cup playoffs, he finished the Cali Cup playoffs with five goals in five games. Yeah. He also has had stints with the Charlotte Checkers in the last couple years, and he is a native. Uh, he, he has also played for six different clubs, including the United States, Germany, Austria, and Slovakia. Yep. Woo! <laughs> then that's out of the way. Cooper began his career playing for the Cincinnati Cyclones as far as the ECHL is concerned. He also played hockey at the University of Alberta, where he recorded 53 goals, 88 assists, and 140 games. All righty. Most Admirals fans are familiar with this guy, Joe Pedenza. Joe Pedenza is returning to the Everblades. Yeah. Along with uh, Brad Ralph and Craig Brush. Um, that was their uh, hockey operations, uh, director of hockey operations and head coach announced the signing of Pedenza for this year. So that had to be a big one. Um, he played primarily in the Hockey League with American Hockey League with the Milwaukee Admirals and Cleveland Monsters. He has... He is from Wilmington, Massachusetts, native, but has also played for the Cincinnati Cyclones, Manchester Monarchs, and Idaho Steelheads. Yep. All righty. And now we flip. We forgot these guys. There's some stuff. Trust me, we're a little rusty. Yeah, oh, yeah. crazy yeah. week. You add free agency into our crazy week, and we're gonna forget some stuff. Yeah, as we explained in first video, this is part two. Part two. Part two. The Milwaukee Admirals have signed UW Badger alum Joseph Labat. Joseph Labat will be signed has signed a contract for the 2021-22 season. He is a UW alum, but he spent the last three years with the Belleville Senators, where he scored 25 goals, 27 assists, and for 52 points in 151 games. He right. is a six foot five, 212 pound forward. Averaging over the last four seasons, a plus 19 rating and a 200 and 
96 career games with Belleville and Utica. With the Utica comments, he posted 99 points, 47 goals, 52 assists, along with 471 penalty minutes. Big defense. Thump it up. But most and foremost, he was the alternate captain for the University of Wisconsin in 2017. Second on the team in points was scoring with 18. He is a Egan, Minnesota native, where he helped the Badgers to a pair of conference championships. He yeah. won a Big Ten championship in 2014. Also a pair of uh, NCAA tournaments during his time in Madison, where Labat scored 31 goals and dishing out 52 assists for 83 points and 143 penalty minutes in 150 contests. That is only a minute a game. Yeah. Almost a minute a game. Well, that will be helping the Admirals kick off our season against Grand Rapids on October 16th, along with two more. Anthony Richard has signed with the Predators. He signed, I believe, a one-year, two-way contract. And he played for the Wolves. Despite that, he was the team's leader. Uh, he was third in points. Third in goals with 11 goals. He had 18 points, tied for 17, for seventh. He, despite the right. 20, 30, 32 games in the previous season with just three goals, five points shy of matching his total of last season, he is constantly moving forward. He has a career plus minus of plus eight. We love the little mini rocket. He also yeah. had two short, two power play goals and two shorthanded goals in his third AHL season. Well, yeah. also bringing Labat and Richard back, we have Frederick Allard. Frederick Allard, well, me and the guy on here that used to formerly be on here called him the villain. For those of you that don't know, um, there is a wrestler in the UK that looks just like Frederick Allard. Um, his nickname is The Villain. He signed a one-year two-way contract for 2021-22. We call him yeah. The Villain because he's a defenseman. His job is to steal the puck. Anyway, he made his NHL debut last season with the Predators, taking the ice against the Tampa Bay Lightning, where he blocked one shot and skated for 16 minutes and 59 seconds. In addition to spending time on Nashville's taxi squad, <coughs> he skated for the A for them for the Chicago Wolves <clears throat> for 25 games last year, had 18 points, three goals, 15 assists, third most amongst the blue, blue liners of that club. Yep. He also started his loan with the Villager SV of the Ice Hockey Club in Austria, which is uh, Austria's top professional league. He had four goals, 13 points, so third most amongst all, uh, third most amongst defensemen on that team for the whole season. Right. He was originally drafted in the third round, 75th, 78th overall by the Nashville Predators in 2016. Allard has spent three seasons with the Admirals, totaling 74 points, 14 goals, 60 assists, and 181 games. Yeah. Whew. There is a lot more coming later this week, folks. But for now, I would like to bid you adieu. Good night. <laughs> mm -hmm.